Hi there and welcome. If you are new then hello and welcome aboard. It's nice to meet you and if you are a returning subscriber then hi. It's always nice to, to have you back. Um, in the description are uh, where you will find uh, the links to anything. If there's something else that you want to know just, just ask me in the comments. I always read and um, answer all comments. Um, so I'm working with a blue and a grey kit from Menin at Collage Type and um, made lots of notebooks but I've not really made any uh, other kinds of ephemera so I need pockets and I need tags so today we're going to do pockets and I'm going to call this five easy um, quick <laughs> pockets <laughs> so let's um let's see how we go now um denise at drunk journals junkie uh uk did uh, a video on these ones the other week and reminded me of them so i'm just gonna oh i could have left the bottoms on actually so these are really simple i just forget how to how to make them so i'm gonna fold one side down you know checking that i've got the nice part of the of the picture and i'm gonna just overlay that part like so so that will be um my pocket and i probably want to cut it down a little bit or quite a bit so i'm gonna have this as as a tall one so cut that down like so and i also want to cut that down because obviously if i don't stick it in down um to the page and i clip it in you'll obviously see the back so i didn't want that uh piece showing and let me think about this so i'm going to fold this bit over to seal it at the bottom I'm going to corner round it. Mind you, I don't know if it's worth corner rounding it because, to be honest, I never, um, I, I never really pin my pockets in. I always glue them, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna see it. So I'm going to cut that uh, flap off, and I'm just going to go down like so. If you was um, going to use a paper clip, then uh, rounding these would, would be nice, just to give it a nice finished uh, look. So we've got that. And I shall put some glue, if it works, down. Yep, there and down that one and that will seal seal that and then across this this bottom so this is like one of those uh, bag pockets I don't know if that's straight I don't think it's straight <laughs> I don't think it is straight that's um that's better okay so that is that so they're quite roomy um in inside um obviously you can put a a divot let's um let's just see whether 
Midlands, just pinch it. And that's that. I will ink them um, after. So we'll do um, another one. So this time I'm going to leave uh, the bottom on because I want to get uh, two out of out of this. So I could have it as wide as as that, but I'm going to do it there. That's better. And I'm going to cut that one off about there. Let's cut that side off. And that side. And on this one I will leave that on as well because that's going to be the bottom of that one it's pretty undirectional um that one let me just check if I'm centered yes I am I was wondering um where I was in the in the frame okay so I'm gonna tuck tuck that up like so I had got my um scoreboard out. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to turn it around because I can see um, it better. So I'm going to cut both sides down and just shape that a little bit. Do the same with this one, let's turn that up like so. And I was saying to Denise, it's funny, these are so simple, yet I always forget how to make them <laughs> until I've seen somebody and then I go, oh yeah, they're really easy, but I, I don't know why I forget, but I do. So that's that one. So we want the glue that and that like so so that will make me three for um my blue project. I'm not gonna put a hole in in that one and um, I want to make three grey ones. I'm going to pause while I do that because I'm sure you don't want to see. Well, I suppose you could just fast forward it to the to the next pocket, pocket number two. Yeah, I'll let you fast forward it. So that's that's that. And like I say, that's not bothering me because, I mean, I don't know why I'm even cutting that bit off really, but, um, so that's that one. So we've got three uh, for the blue. Um, I mean, I could do a small one with that. Would it be too, too small? Let's have a look. I mean, I, I can't do it upside down and use that as as the um, finger image egg. So if I fold that up, yeah, it's not too small, is it? I mean, they're like ones what you get in um, thingy. So I can cut those off while it's folded. And then that might help me remember that it's this one that I take off. And this one. And I think that's why I forget. And yeah, I just don't know why I do, but I do. Okay, so that's that. So I'll put some glue 
that. Some glue that. And on here. Okay, so we've ended up with four. So that's that one. So this one, I've got the bird um, up there, so I do want to um, get the get the bird in so I'm going to fold it there and I'm going to bring this to there okay I'm going to have to cut, cut the top off because it's the top so I do it a little bit more I could do it diagonal if I wanted could I? I suppose I could um, and I want it to about there and then I want a bit on for tucking it up it's on that side off that set and that side so that's those two and this one the roses are at the bottom so that's so just fold that so if you've got any picture um on the paper you're using obviously you know fold it accordingly so if it was more in the middle i'd move it uh, round a bit so i thought the pattern ones would be quite nice because then um you've not really got to decorate them decorate them all so I can do that one um, upside down. So that's that. So I've got another uh, four out of that. So if I do that on all of them. Not folded that. I was thinking, oh, well, where's that? I don't think I've folded any of them actually. It's just that they've got the uh, white white mark on, well, cream mark because I've printed in in cream. But yeah, if you want them dead precise, obviously use your uh, scoreboard. And then I will, oh, that's because I'm talking. Um, and then I will um, make some, I'll get some blank tags made, you know, so they fit. Um, and then we can, can decorate them up um, in another, in another video. up I'm sure I've got the white part in the inside so there and the edge of there So that's that one. And that. And that one. 
I will get the bone folder and uh, bone folder them all, um, you know, so they're nice and flat as, as well. I'm not big on um, putting divots in, in them all. Um, I prefer them without. Um, I think if something's really high and, you, you know, you need that to... Um, Perhaps put oh I can't think of the word um a tab on the top of the card um so say that was right at the top of somewhere you know I could go right down there so the tab was actually there so I could just go like that instead of it say hanging above if it was going to, you know, poke out the top of the book or, or whatever. But um, other than that, I think they're just a visual thing, aren't they? Okay, so what's that? What's that? Or if you're going to have tiny things in a pocket, so you want to be able to get get down and, and be able to grab them but if you're just planning on having one tag um in there which is you know not gonna fall in that it fits the the pocket then there's there's no no real need unless you know you you like that that look of it so i mean some of these you could put them on top of each other if you wanted um so that's that we've got eight of those Okay, so the next one is even easier. So I've got my paper, I'm just going to fold it over like so. Then I could either cut it in half and have two smaller ones or just cut it down and have one big one. So I'm going to cut this one down. Uh, for one one tall one like so let's have a look at this one so okay like so and I'm gonna cut this about in half Okay, so that's those two. Then we've got the, the blue ones. I'm gonna have to cut cut that edge down. Or I could fold fold that in. Like so. And I'll just just run some glue down there that will make that edge a little bit you know more robust as well bring that to there and then I'm gonna have this as um, a tall one so I'm just gonna take some off there now that one I could do it like that, but by the time I've glued those two down, it's not really going to be um, of any use. If it had come down a bit further, then I could have made that kind of pocket uh, with what was left over, but um, it wasn't quite enough. So I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm using a 100 GSM. Uh, presentation paper this is the paper that I use um, in the post and print um, service what I've got in my Etsy shop so any of uh, the collaboration kits my uh, part of the kit uh, what are in, in the Etsy shop um, that's what I print print it on to send um, for those orders Okay, so I'm going to 
make sure that's something my straight so we've got those like i say you could have those that way um which at the moment i don't have to make make my mind up because i'm gonna glue them so you could still have them either either side so that would tuck that way I mean, how easy is, is that? And obviously, you could go uh, down and that would also be um, like an envelope. So I am going to put that corner down because that felt uh, better having that side um, down. That makes that a little bit too long. I don't I can I'll bring it round a little bit. I've not, you know, creased it, creased it, so that'll be fine. Okay. If I was probably going to definitely use them that way, I probably would have left that a bit a bit wider. Um taller, sorry. So that would go that way and do the same with this. And so you've probably seen these pockets a million uh, times, but you know, sometimes we do forget about the simple pockets and sometimes you know we just want some some pockets pretty quick um if we want quite a few um you know it's it's a good you know to mass make um some of them um like like i'm doing now um or if you're new you might not have seen these pockets before and are a bit you know daunted by um all these complicated flips and flaps and and all the rest of it so these might be perfect but i think for most of you it will just be that reminder of oh yeah totally forgot about that really simple simple pocket okay so that's that one now obviously <coughs> with these ones you know you could have a corner pocket there you could put pockets all the way up there and still have that you can glue it down and have it up or have it at the at the side is that oh that's the mold on crikey um oh, that's it. and same with with those ones we did say about you know you could attach um them over but you know you could put a little one there you can put one over the top you can obviously stick it down three sides um like so you can even have a, a band um down it and just have a card um pushed in so they don't you know have to stay um as as plain as as that even though i am decorating but um you know so let's um have a look at the next one Okay, so this is one of those uh, variations what I've just um, said. So I'm going to start by putting one of the edges down. Like I said, I don't really need to, to do that, but at the minute I can't get it under my paper uh, trimmer unless I've got the, the big one out, so I may as may as well i've cut um the sides down so i've got no no white on the on the sides i might as well get this done and these will make two 
per sheet. So I'm going to have four in the grey, four in the blue. That's got a bit on each side, but I think if when I've inked the top, um, it'll be it'll be fine. So that's that one. Same with with this. It's got it both both sides. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that up like so, a little bit more, I think that's about, I don't know, an inch and a half. Now this is where I can get the rest of that, that side off, okay, and then this is going to be folded over. So this is now a, a basic um, envelope. Now you could fold it in half and have it either side of your, um, you know, so say that's a journal page, it could be sewn, sewn in or you can cut them in half to make them just simple um, envelopes. So. And now I can cut that top off. Sorry if that's really bangy. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> that's uh, that. That one was printed inside, not by, you know, I've not done done it especially um, for this. It's just I must have, you know, printed them off for something, something else at some point. So we've got two. Two of those. <coughs> Can bring it up. Obviously, you could have it wider, you know, bigger at the bottom and just a small one. You could have it quite low and have this, you know, right um, coming down at the bottom. I like it that it's got about an inch um, coming the flap. Okay, so. This time I'm going to do a smaller, shall I? No, I'm going to do it about there. Okay, and then I can take that bit off. And then that, that can go like so. I used to do these a lot with... Um, I've not printed on any vellum for, for ages. I must get back into the habit. Every time I used to print off a kit, I'd, um, I'd you know, print so many in, in vellum. Okay, so that's that one. Let's do, do these. I don't need to, well, I need to cut them in half, but I don't need to. both together and do them at the same same time okay so I've got some bigger ones and some a bit smaller so now I'm going to glue each side you don't have to you could have them that they opened up so you could write um, in there I like them stuck up because we've got a pocket there I would stick it down there and have a pocket uh, there. If you've got envelopes, what well, this isn't going to be too tall, but uh, too wide. But if it was, you can always stick it down that way um, and open it as the envelope on on the side. So they're pretty, um, you know, versatile uh, 
pieces. If you've got envelopes of the same size, you can do, um, you know, the stacking. So you've got, um, you know, a, a, a stack of them. <laughs> um, yeah, there's lots of things. And then you can um, use them as a tipping. So you would use your lid <laughs> and stick it onto a page like so so on one side you'd have that which you can use as a, a little side top and on the other side you would have the um I keep wanting to call them umbrellas i've got no idea why uh but envelopes so i'll just glue glue these up So I would decorate that side of them because I'm sticking them down like so. If you was pinning them in, you might want to um, decorate the, the front. Um, you might want to decorate both. But um, yeah, I know when I f first started, I'd made loads of envelopes and decorated all of the fronts. And then um, I wish that I'd have decorated you know the backs of of them because I wanted to use them um, stuck stuck down. That you could use it as a as a pocket. Well, it ends up being a double pocket. So that's that one. So that's number three of easy um, pockets. So probably made eight of each one. So that's going to be, you know, loads of pockets in your stash. Um, and, you know, we're not even going to have been an hour. So. Okay, so that's all our envelopes uh, done. Blue ones there, the grey ones there. Okay, so the blue ones uh, are you mainly uh, using uh, the blue winter kit. It's a blue woodland uh, winter, and the grey ones are mainly using uh, grey days from Nanine's shop. Um, so the next ones. I think I've just got two pages for that. Let me check. Yeah. Um, are going to be the basic um, um, pockets, what you normally get in a kit. So I'm just going to cut this down in half. and cut it in half so this is still going to make me four pockets okay so we've got four shall do the same here okay I always just rub across this just to make sure that it is um, at the half mark. I don't know why, but I do. Right, I'll do those separately because I can see that going uh, wrong. So these are just, you know, really simple, plain pockets. So I am going to use uh, the scoreboard. So let's, um, I'm going to have that as the as the bottom because um, they're going to be gusseted. So I'm going to score it at half. Turn it round at half. Turn it around, and I will obviously go wider to get rid of that. 
cream so those are just folded like so and the bottom like so and then open it up and just go up like that so when your pocket's stuck down because you stick it there um, you don't see you know that the inside of that so that's the bottom and then uh, sorry that's the top the bottom I'm just going to cut just before the score line so like so and then just turn my scissors a little bit so it goes like that so I will sit and do some more of these I'll do a couple and then I think I will pause because it will take me a while to to do these well not a while but it's it's a bit boring okay I don't think I went half there but that's fine We'll turn that bottom up like so. Open it back out. Okay. So this shows you that it really doesn't matter that one side is smaller than the other. You know, it's you could cut it down if if you wanted, but it, it makes no difference at all. So let's um we'll do a couple without. Uh, stopping to do the cutting business. Do another one. Okay, so I'm going to cut the top. You know, and all these cuts you're making as well, these don't all have to, you know, that's not going to be the same as that and it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, you don't see any of it because that's the part that's, that's glued down, gives you a bit of a gusset, which means, you know, it doesn't have to be a totally flat uh, tag or journal card. You can have a bit of, um, you know, decoration on because you've got that much space um, inside. So I'm going to pause and I'll do the other three. Okay, so these ones, I've cut off the sides. I'm just going to fold them in half. So these are going to be uh, quite large pockets. Now, I could do them that way if I wanted, but um, I want to go this way. So we're just going to be making two of each one of, of these. So. Let's do that. And I think I've just counted up that with these, I'll have either 34 or 36 pockets. And I looked at the timer and we're on about half an hour. So, yeah. And say so if you want a stash uh, quickly... then 
you know, these, these are perfect. So I'm just cutting them down a little bit. Want to get rid of the the edge, but um, I'm gonna bring them in a little bit as well. Just so, you know, so they're not too wide. Now, if you wanted um, on any of the pockets to have something nice on the other side, obviously you can double print or you can line um, the other side with a napkin. Uh, you could do some splashy painting. You could uh, stick to the book page. But um, yeah, because this is pretty nice on the inside, um, I'm not I'm not bothered. Okay, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I just wrote one or two. Oh, I can do it either way, can't I? Yeah. So let's do this one, ripping both of them. Okay, so I've started right in that corner and I'm going to rip down like so, okay? And then this piece, this that's going to actually make two. I'm going to put there. So I will obviously ink that because I want to get rid of all the, all the white. Okay, so that will stick stick there. So you've got a pocket there and a pocket there. Now, I can either glue this one together or I can take it off that so I have two of them. So let's, yeah, let's do that. And the ripped pocket, so that doesn't, doesn't matter. So we've got one like that and if if that's too too wide for you you can rip it down more after you've done your first rip for your pocket so you know I might want it like so and then I would obviously have to rip that as well so you can rip them down to the size or shape that you want them to be. Okay, so I'm going to put glue. If I put my pen in, put glue down here. So, and then I'm just going to stick stick that down instead of trying to to rip it. Okay. So that is one, and I'll do this one. I'll leave this one wider. So that means you can have a really big tag behind it. Same, same with that one. Um, and then something smaller at the front. Okay, so that's that. If you do them exactly the same, they're nice in uh, the centres of your journals. So this one, I'm going to just rip... Um, I'm just going to use the ruler just to start me off. I'm just going to rip one of them. And I'm going to rip down 
if you see when I go that way you get that white core of the paper if you go the other way um, you don't and then that can be stuck down so that's a big pocket if I wanted that to have um, you know the background and that, that I could go uh, round that way okay these are good pockets for you know like the front of your journal the back of your journal these uh, bigger ones but you know you can obviously have them in your journal as well so I'm just gonna glue down there so that's that one and obviously you can have another pocket there or you could have a, another torn um, piece there or you know a proper corner pocket and you can obviously stick it down three sides and a big card can can go at the back as well so we'll do the same with this one let's use that ruler just to start me off I could use the ruler all the way let's use the ruler all, all the way down okay so that gives you more of a, a slanted uh, pocket rather than even though it is you know got the torn appearance it is more slanted okay and obviously you know with this piece I can put that on which I will I will do All these would be great you know with with book pages or at the end of your um, project you know with your leftover uh, digitals some uh, pads you know paper pads can be too thick uh, for this kind of thing and and they crack and um, some are fine some of the thick ones aren't so Tim Holtz ones normally are, are okay, so I think he, I think his are about 200 GSM. I think anything, you know, much more than like you're looking at it probably cracking, and then obviously it can break, break off. So that's that one, and this one again, we'll do it, we'll do it with this. So we've got some different different locks. Okay, let's see we've got there. It's, um, using vintage photo it's a new one so it obviously looks quite uh, brown which is lovely because I've not had um, a new vintage photo for about three years so it's it's nice okay just ink around these and then that is that so that's five simple uh, pockets and there's lots of other uh, simple pockets when I sat and you know thought about it um, you know I could have done 10 simple pockets so I might come come along again and do a five simple uh, pockets perhaps when I'm working on a different coloured kit because I don't think I need any more pockets <laughs> for this for this um these projects i will just now need lots of tags and embellishments okay so that is that yeah so let me just put my lid on there 
So we've got two of those, two of those, two of those, and we've got us all that way. Obviously these will look a lot better once they've been uh, inked up. Then we've got our uh, pouch ones. And our envelope ones. And then our simple um, basic pocket like so. So thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope I've re-reminded you um, of, of something. And um, yeah, I shall see you in, in the next video. Let me know if you're interested in me doing another um, five easy um, pockets. And um, I'll see, see what I can do. So thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.